Yo, what is up, guys? We are here. Like I told y'all, we were going to be to do these tier list rankings, ranking every single match that happened here from night one and night two for WrestleMania 40. Uh, all in all, it was a really good show across both nights, but there may have been some stinkers in there. There have been some classics in there, and I got Arlo here to help me rank these matches. So we're going to start with the first match here. We got Rhea Ripley. Becky Lynch, World, I almost said World Heavyweight Championship, Women's World Championship. Um, knowing what we know about the match now with Becky being sick, 103, 102 degree fever, along with having strep throat going out there fighting, uh, we got to tip our hats off to her. But me personally, I would say this match was probably meh or good. I would lean more towards Maybe, maybe meh. I don't know how you feel about it, Arlo. Um, would you have the same, you know, sentiment there, or how you feeling about that one? Yeah, I think I give it a. I think I give it good just because she's not feeling well, and I feel bad. I'm like, I can't. I can't say it was trash. Right? No, because I mean, given the context, and even without the context, it wasn't like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. No. So, no, it's it's fine. Just compared to the matches they've done before, how just disappointed. Yeah. Last year, they had her uh, Becky Bianca was great. Rhea Charlotte was great, so I was expecting more. But I would, yeah, I'd probably say good. Okay, that works for me. Works for me, brother. Got good. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, the six pack. I almost said challenge. We all over the place right now. Six pack tag team ladder match. Our uh, truth, the Miz. Uh, Judgment Day, New Day, a lot of days in there. Regeneration X, New Catch Republic uh, for both the Raw and SmackDown tag team titles. I thought this match was decent. Not as once again, you made a great point, Arlo, about the fact that coming off of last year, thirty nine, where we saw Rhea and and Charlotte tear it down. I think the same sentiment applies here for me with this one. Is like the the tag team match last year had no reason going that hard, bro. And this one, to me, while R-Truth got his well-deserved moment, bro, uh, this doesn't feel like it was as good as that one. So for me, I would have to rank this one as well as good because we did have some really nice spots in there. I don't know if you feel the same. Let yeah. the people know. Good as well? You know, that I, I, um, they're pretty much on the same level. Um, our truth made that match. There's some memorable. There wasn't. There was some good spots, but uh, it was just good. Okay, good. All right. Next up, we got Andrade and Rey Mysterio taking on Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. Uh, we know Dragon Lee was supposed to be in this match. Not sure what happened. Don't really want to get into the roots of, of, of that. But um, I thought the match was fine for what it was. Um, it's, it's kind of hard. This is also the same thing for me where it's either meh or good because I feel like, you know, Dominic losing again, but mm -hmm. it was just, the match just didn't feel like it had that extra oomph on it like 39 did as well. So yeah. I this think very for me, forced. The, yeah, this is meh for me, actually. Yeah, I'm on what you're there. It was, uh. There's not really anything to it. They try to put Dom in at the end, and I don't know. Yeah, that people want to see that again, but it's like I don't know. It didn't work out the way they wanted it to. I feel like at no. all. Uh, oof. Next up, we got Jimmy and Jay. I am not my brother's keeper. Uh, twin brother versus twin brother. Look, y'all. Um, <laughs> while WrestleMania was good and. I don't want to be that guy who's like harping on performance because they can do stuff that I couldn't dream of doing any day of the week. I like Jimmy. I like Jay. Uh, but this match was basically super kick, super kick, super kick, splash, super kick, super kick, super kick. Um, and I feel like there could have been more to this. So for me, this is the first not good. I did not like this match. The match wasn't, I mean, it wasn't good. No. Um, I don't know. 
I was ex- I don't know what is it I was expecting, but I was expecting something good at least. But you know, when you have like I guess family feuds or something, mm-hmm. no Steve Harvey. But uh, I see what you did there. Yeah, but you know, you kind of need a little bit more edge or a little bit more violence because it's like you're really fighting your brother. You gotta like go all out, mm-hmm. and uh, it really fell flat. And the stu- super super kick stuff. The uh, I'm sorry, man. Like nobody. I'm sorry, Oos. No, sorry, Oos. Come on, I'm, your, I'm my brother's good. keeper again. Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm. Come on, it's me and you. Just day two ish. No, <laughs> we're come good. Come on, be day one again. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No, it's yeah, over, man. This is not good. This not reminds good. me of Gold Dust and Stardust. <sighs> Fast lane. Ooh. One thing about Stardust, though, he had don't go back and watch that. It was terrible. Yeah, please but, don't. Please don't. Uh, please. In 2015, I think. Yeah. So it was like very like similar style, similar moves, and you know, this just didn't mesh well. And I think this match didn't mesh well either. No, no. I think given a better circumstance, they could have cooked. We would have had a banger, but uh, we didn't. So next match we have here is the six woman tag team match between. Uh, damage Control, Asuka, Kyrie, Dakota versus Jay Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair, which it's funny. The two girls in the front of the picture have two completely different careers going into this matchup. On the one side, you have Bianca Belair, who is cementing herself as the new Undertaker with a perfect win streak, flawless victory streak here at WrestleMania. Then on the other side, you have the can't pick up a win to save her life at WrestleMania, Oscar, who has not won a match yet. Um, this was more so a showcase match, though, for Jay Cargill. I thought it was fine for what it was, but it kind of goes back to me on being meh. And I don't mean meh and like this match sucked, but just meh because it did what it needed to do. Showcase Jay Cargill. That's my rating for it is meh. Yeah, this match, I don't remember the match at all. I just remember the entrance. Yeah, that's... But it wasn't terrible, so... No. Meh. Meh. Next up, we have, which this is the match I was looking forward to the most going into WrestleMania 40 this year. Uh, Gunther, the ring general versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. Bro, I know everyone wanted Chad Gable. If you watch Raw, if you were there with us for our Raw live stream, watch along and reactions on Twitch, by the way, which you can find us on Twitch at the Primetime Collective. Go hit us up over there on Twitch. We stream the Raw and SmackDown live watch along and reactions over there and on YouTube together as a simulcast. So go show us some love over there as well. But this match was fantastic. This was amazing. Um Almost to me, it almost hit legendary, man. It almost did, but for me, this was amazing. The feel good moment happened. The angle they shot before the match really sold it. Uh, Sammy pulling out the brain buster, just all around. This was an amazing match for me, bro. Amazing stuff. Yeah, I completely agree. I I thought this match was actually longer than it was, but I looked at it, and it wasn't that long. It was like 16 17 minutes but wow man they had they had packed so much into this match that they <laughs> yeah i mean you heard the reaction tonight on raw sammy they, they love sammy again they love and, him. Uh, yeah and the story they told of like you know gunther got cocky and sammy caught him i really like that too so yeah Good you, stuff. go watch this match if you haven't seen it yet no, for real, if you haven't seen this, like Arlo said, please go watch it uh, because you're missing out on amazing stuff packed into a match that I didn't even know was that short. So definitely go check that out as soon as you can. Please, not tomorrow, today. All right. Next up, we have the main event of night one of WrestleMania 40. Seth Rollins, Seth freaking Rollins. Let me put some respect on his name. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes versus the final boss, Look at you now. And Roman Reigns. Um, great match. 
Uh, I know going into it, a lot of people thought that Rock was going to look slow, which he kind of did because he's older now. But uh, this match was long, bro. Like, I, like if you even take out the entrances, this was still like a 40 plus minute match. And I thought Rock looked really good considering his age and ring rust and all those different things factored into it. Everyone played their part. This was masterful storytelling leading into night two for the main event of that show. Um, really hard to give this one uh, a rating that I feel like it, it, it's difficult. I don't know if I want to go legendary or amazing uh, because given what we saw on night two, I don't know. I think right now I'm going to say amazing personally. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you would want to go legendary though, or if you feel the same about putting it in the amazing tier. Uh, no, I think I agree with amazing. Like you said, night two, that felt way better. I think it was probably because the crowd, mm -hmm. if, if the crowd wasn't as like, react like they were giving like huge reaction on night two but not night one if they were like that on night one this would be legendary this would be one of the best matches but i think i have to give it amazing yeah i mean the crowd was definitely not into night one not because they the show sucked but because it was cold as hell out there so yeah. quite naturally no one's going to be reacting um we move on though to the good stuff we got all like the night one matches out the way as we move on to night two of WrestleMania. So starting off here, we got Seth freaking Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Mr. I prayed for this for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, great way to kick off the show, y'all. This was, to me, night one, while it was good, night two kicked off in like a statement way to make you say, yo, bro, this is WrestleMania, dog. Like for me, the... This match right here was really good. Um, and I'm going to actually sit it up for amazing because of what happened when Damian Priest cashed in and won the World Heavyweight Championship. I know it's not a part of the match, but to me, as a collective, everything put together as a whole package, I got to go amazing. Yeah, they 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 had, just from the, the, the jump, like five Claymores, multiple future jog GDTs, um, stomps like galore, like this was like a action packed match, and uh, it was awesome. The whole from the whole the jump, and we got like the whole great entrances from both of them, so yeah, nope. definitely amazing. Good stuff, man. Amazing stuff there. Um, <clears throat> we go into the surprise match of the night for me, uh, which was Bobby Lashley and the Prod. I'm not sure if they're called the Prod, I have no idea anymore. They took on the Final Testament, Karrion Cross and AOP. Um, we had a special guest appearance, has a special guest referee being uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, which was cool to see. But while the match surprised me more than I felt like it deserved to be because of all the build that was lacking with this match, the fact that Karrion Cross's group is just not getting that over. I feel like the pride isn't really going anywhere right now. And it's just feeling like both stables, both factions are not in a good spot right now, y'all. So, it, you know, even with all that, they still managed to go out there and put on an entertaining match. But I still don't think it was good. There was a lot of weird spots in the match. You have the one thing with Karrion Cross on the table. The table breaks before he even gets put through it. Uh, just little stuff like that that kind of takes you out the match. So for me, I got to go, meh, you know, meh, it wasn't bad. It was meh. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, like, man, I just, this probably shouldn't have been a WrestleMania. The only thing that saved it was uh, the Dudley stuff, get the mm -hmm. tables, and even they fucked that up because they fucking broke the table. Broke the damn so, table. It broke the. We just had you know, p three guys beating up Bobby Lashley with the kendo sticks. Yeah, that's a, that's great. That was that was no. great. That was a great visual, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. I see what um, you're going for, but yeah, oh, this is meh. Yeah, dude. I think I think 
doesn't really matter um, about that match too much, but it was better than it had any right to be. So uh, moving on to the match that I was most surprised by, the fact that I even got into the feud to begin with is crazy because um, I like both AJ Styles and LA Knight, but I felt like both guys had really nothing going on after the Rumble. But somehow WWE pulled the WWE magic under this whole new Paul Levesque era, and they pulled out something special for this feud. Um, And for that reason alone, AJ is nearing the end of his career. He said that multiple times in interviews now at this point, and the guy can still go out there, though, and deliver a banger. Moves like he's not even 46. If you didn't know he was 46, well, now you know that he's 46 because he don't move like a 46-year-old. Uh, but for me, this was a good match. Very good. Uh, LA Knight is not known to be some fantastic, like fantastic worker, which is fine. Not everyone needs to go out there and put on a five-star Okada classic. Doesn't really matter. It's about the stories for us. So for me, story, the match quality was good. For me, this is just a good, solid WrestleMania match. Yeah, I think if they had a couple more minutes, maybe they could do something, but I really don't think L.A. Knight is that kind of wrestler, and he doesn't have to be. He's good where he's at. He'll give you a, a, a really good match, but, you know, um, it was bad. I, I thought it was going to be worse than it was, and it surprised me, actually. So it, it was good, though. All right, good. Okay. Man, poor Jimmy and Jay, man. Someone else got to join y'all, bro, because it's, it's not I'm looking good right now. It's not looking good, boys. Uh, we move on. Uh, to the triple threat match, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, Logan Paul for the U.S. Championship. Very fun match, y'all. This is not, to me, some legendary match. Um, It's kind of leaning towards more amazing or good for me right now. The simple fact is, whether you hate him, you love him, you like him, Logan Paul, he's legit. Logan Paul is legit. Randy Orton is a legend. Kevin Owens is fantastic, a future Hall of Famer. I think all three guys are future Hall of Famers at the end of the day when it's all said and done and, and, and like they all decide to hang up their boots. All future Hall of Famers. Uh, we had an appearance from I Show Speed. He took an RKO. Um, just, I mean, it was a very fun match, y'all. Very, very fun match for me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to say, I want to say good. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go good. That's, that's, yeah, I'm going to go good. Um, I, I thought it was amazing. Ooh. Not because it was amazing, but because it was better than AJ and LA Knight. Mm-hmm. Like a mm-hmm. step above. And I put that as good. So I'm like, it's not on that level because it's, be- it's much better than that. But okay. You see that amazing is like those are really, really good matches. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like amazing. Yeah. Like those are yeah, but I you know what? You know what? That's fine. I feel like I mean, you put it at like the front of good. We can throw it at meh. No, I'm kidding. We can throw it at the front of good. That's totally fine. Yes. Yeah. Works for me, brother. Ooh, we got the last two matches. Now, boys, buckle up. Because it's about to get spicy. Not really. Because I'm pretty sure everyone has the same sentiment yeah. on these matches. Uh, Bailey and EO Sky, Women's Championship. Y'all, I know if you've been watching this for a while, or if you've been anywhere on the internet, I feel like it's a very mixed reaction when it comes to this feud. Either you loved it, or you didn't like it. You thought damage control may have been a flop. You thought maybe Bailey just wasn't, you know, where she should be at. None of that really even mattered when you got to the match. Once again, the women of WWE proving that they really could be in the main event. If Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes was not main eventing the show at all and The Rock wasn't there, I would have had no problem with this being the main event knowing we got what we got. This was an amazing match. EO Scott is amazing. Bailey is amazing. I feel like Bailey never gets enough credit for being pretty much as good as she is. I feel like a lot of people look at her as like the, you know, least favorite of the horsewomen after her, uh, you know, 
face turn and everything on the well, not face turn, but her call up on the main roster and everything. But she's fantastic, and I gotta give this an amazing rating. Uh, Arlo, how you feeling about this one, bro? Completely agree. They really, they really stepped up. I, I knew Eo would, but you know we haven't really seen Bailey like that, like take it to the next level since she's came back from her like injury. Yeah, I mean they really didn't give her an opportunity, and the only person she really had to face like that's Bianca. But you know, you, you don't know how it's gonna be until two people have a match because they've never had a match together. But yeah. man, they knocked it. They knocked it out the fucking park. Like from from like the opening bell to like you know Io like doing her like uh, moon the three moon salt stuff back to back to back. Bruh. And, yeah, they were they were they were they were doing something special. So yeah, yeah, they were cooking, bro. They yeah, were cooking. Definitely agree with amazing. I would love to see them run that back part too if they ever yeah. wanted to. We need so, to see that. I want to see it. Now, notice we have amazing matches, we have good matches, we have men matches, and we have the one not good match because um, uh, because you know I'm not my brother's keeper, and you want your brother's best match either, so that happens. We have the main event of night two, undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table versus the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I don't think I have to even talk about this match. If you did not see our reactions for night one and two of WrestleMania 40, I implore you to go watch them. I will have the links down below in this video. Please go watch them. And if you haven't seen WrestleMania, please go watch this match. Um, us talking about it is not going to do it justice. There was so much happening. Everyone knew going into this, it was going to be overbooked as hell. And yet we didn't care. WWE got in the kitchen. They added every sauce. They added every seasoning. They turned the temperature up to 375, let it preheat, took it out, let the seasoning marinate and gave us a five course meal, boys. This match right here, you know where it goes. There's only one spot for it. That is legendary. Cody Rhodes finished his story in one of the greatest main events, not just in WrestleMania, but in wrestling history. I don't even feel like I have to ask Arlo. I feel like he's going to say the same thing, but I'm going to ask him anyways. How do you feel about this match, bro? It was amazing. It was from top to bottom, from the video packages to the entrances. To the match itself was really good. It was really, really good. Like last year, before the interference, they had like an amazing match too. Mm -hmm. And this year was no difference. And it was more violent and it, it meant a lot more. And then we got the we got the you know the classic spots of the run-ins and stuff like that. But this time, instead of the you know, the what's it called? The tribal uh, the tribal uh, all the bloodline match. rules, yeah. Like yeah. the DQ did not favor them because they no. actually had people this time, and they Cody's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna tear down the bloodline, and you have to get like the right pieces. You got somebody to take out Jimmy, somebody to take um, Cena to take out Solo, and take her yeah. to take out The Rock. Like what? But they had <laughs> one match. Are you everybody. serious? Everybody, yeah. you know, I know we were all waiting on that glass shadow. We didn't get it, but still, yeah. no, it was still great. And then you had the ultimate final piece of him hitting Seth with a chair, not Cody, yep. and letting Cody get enough time to recover and um, take it to him. So, like every single piece of that entire match has been thought out over and over and over again. I'm sure there's been like a thousand rewrites to what's going to happen and they just yeah it couldn't be a better angle or in feud and match in one so they did it just mwah, chef kiss yeah. to that match man like like if if, if y'all ain't seen the menu you don't get it but yes chef thank you chef because <laughs> they were cooking bro and i mean like you said bro him hitting seth with the chair was like he couldn't let the hate go 
Yeah. He couldn't let the hate go. And his hate for Seth Rollins ultimately costed him the one thing he loved the most, yeah. being the head of the table, the world title. So outstanding stuff, y'all. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the tier list, man. Let us know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below. Do y'all disagree? Do you guys agree with it? We would love to hear your thoughts. And also, don't forget to join us for SmackDown Live Watch Along this Friday live on Twitch and YouTube. So wherever you watch videos at for live streams, pull up. It's going to be a great time. Come hang with your boys. Also, if you're new, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, stick around. We hope to see you around, and we hope you guys love the content. But until next time, have a great rest of your day, night, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace.